32K stolen from woman after Uber struck by another vehicle while on way to make deposit. After this. What is up, everyone? Philly True Crimes back at you. And y'all, look at this. 32K stolen from woman after Uber struck by another vehicle while on way to make deposit. Police are asking for help. Identifying two men wanted in connection with a strong armed robbery earlier this week in the West Oak Lane section of Philadelphia. The robbery happened on Tuesday around 3.15 p.m. in the 7200 block of Ogon Avenue. According to the police, two men robbed a manager of a Rite Aid store as she was on her way to deliver a cash deposit. The manager told police that she ordered an Uber ride to deliver that deposit worth $32,000. While on her way, she said it was struck from behind by another vehicle. When the Uber driver got out to look at the damage, two men wearing all black and ski masks then exited the other vehicle, opened her door, and physically took the money bag from her. A silver or gray model Honda CRV, possibly 2007 to 2011. They went back to their Honda CRV and then fled westbound on Walnut Lane, said Captain John Craig, the commanding officer of Northwest Detectives. The vehicle, which police say belongs to the suspects, was last seen in the area of Wolstein and Beverly Avenue. Police say the suspect's vehicle had a paper tag and a lift sticker on the passenger side front windshield. The crime raised the question of whether the robbers knew the store manager was carrying that much cash in the Uber. We're currently investigating that right now, but clearly this person was targeted, said Craig. I always recommend situational awareness in all situations. Obviously, the individual did not have an opportunity to get out of the car because these individuals were quickly right on the Uber. Rite Aid customers were shocked to learn the manager called an Uber to transfer that much cash. Not even to the corner of my block, said Brenda Rice, because crime is so high and these stores are targets. That's why we don't have any around here. Action News reached out to Rite Aid to find out if it is standard practice for stores to transport that much money deposits via ride share. We're waiting to hear back. Anyone with any information on this case is asked to contact police by calling 911. You also can call 215-686-TIPS for a text 215-686-TIPS. All tips are confidential. Oh boy, this... People got nerd. Okay, let's look at the video real quick. Strong arm robbery involving the manager of a right in. This happened in this week in North Hunt, Philadelphia. Authorities say she was robbed after ordering an Uber to make a $32,000 deposit for the store. Soon as Porter Becca Hendrickson joins that live. Wait, so, I mean, okay, I, she is taking Uber to deliver $32,000. What is wrong with that story right there? We want to just stop this whole video because right there, that's, that's done. Why isn't an armored truck coming to get that money? Don't, don't they do that? They don't do that for stores? They just do it for banks or, or ATMs? Why is a female this taking 32000 Did I say so much? $32,000 anywhere alone. And Uber. Listen, I've, I've been an Uber driver. I don't drive people as much anymore. But I started Uber driving back in 2017. I do more grab pub and stuff now. But I'm an Uber driver. And I don't trust Uber drivers. Uber drivers. I, I just can't believe that this is a thing. Let's go on. Crime in Paris. You can imagine police believe that this was a targeted crime. Tuesday afternoon, the manager of this Rite Aid believes that she usually does with a large cash deposit. A few blocks into her Uber ride, she gets robbed. Surveillance video shows the robbery in progress. Two suspects jump out of this Honda Sear after crashing into the car front, swing open the doors, and grab a bag from the person in the back. They went back to their Honda CRV and then fled westbound 
on Walmart Lane. According to Northwest, the next to the South Africa. Oh, what's crime? South played South out. Africa. As you can imagine, police believe that this was a targeted crime. True say after being the manager of this. Absolutely. They, but that's definitely um, something that happened that was planned to happen for sure. Crashing in the pants up in the doors, then you grab that head crew writer and hold the bender. They went back to half. According to Northwest detectives, find their product was $32,000. And now we are now hoping someone recognized. Have a look at the car. Mm. I'm not getting no Biden pool help or grant. Listen, so this is very concerning because that is, this man is right. There's no way. Even me, even, you know, I'm taking an Uber personally. I'm not going to carry that much money on me. People don't even carry money anymore. And this poor individual, this woman, um, you know, she had to take this money, $32,000, and an Uber. How unsafe is that? Which well, brought her to, to complete her, her job, her task for her job. Very, very unsafe. Let's look at let's look at the um, the map here. Let's see if we just um, take a look. Now this is uh where it was because it must have been it was at this intersection because they said that they came and turned on Washington Lane. So either it was going this direction or over here coming this way. But they came to Washington Lane and either made left or right on this here street. And this is where they got away. There's a few ways to look at this. Number one, did the Uber driver, was he in cahoots with the, the people within him? Because if you look, the Uber driver went and looked at his damage. And then when he looks around, there's people coming out of the car with masks on. Uh, I don't know how startled he looked. Does he look startled? Um, I wish the, the video wouldn't cut he cut off. The Uber driver and the Lyft drivers, were they in cahoots? Were they expecting this? Did he just uh, get out the car to play off that he was looking uh, at the damage? So that's one thing to look at. And if that was a situation, then you know that these individuals in the, um, the Lyft vehicle have been watching the, the store for quite some time to know this woman uh, goes at the same time. That's another thing. Never do what you that what you do every day. Even when you drive a home, you sometimes take different routes. Come home at different times. You know what I mean? Come home early. Or or don't, you know, when you're doing the same routine, people catch on to that and they, and they watch. There's always someone watching. There's always somebody watching. Especially in the situation, they must have known her schedule um, and we're, we're ready to go. They know that this was going to happen. So are they, are they friends with somebody inside the store? Was somebody inside the store know these individuals and said, hey, this happens at this time? Uh, you know, be ready. The individuals know the person that was driving her in the Uber? Probably not. You can't really get an Uber. Um, it's hard for an Uber person to get the, the same individual to ride. Um, you can kind of park at the area if you're going to order an Uber and maybe you'll get the, get the notification. So that's kind of difficult. That's kind of difficult. So that kind of rules out the idea of the Uber knowing what was going on because the Uber driver, uh, wouldn't have been able to get that run if he, um, you know, wanted to kind of, it's kind of hard to do that. So also another way to look at it. This is really, really far fetched, but maybe the um who knows? Maybe she she maybe she staged this. You know, you just never know what people will do to get money. Maybe she staged all this. The manager, I know, I know that sounds crazy, but like you said, who knows? But most likely, these two uh, jerks have been watching the store for a while. They may have known somebody inside of the store who works there. They may they may know. Someone might have you know, tipped them off. I don't know. Maybe they're in cahoots with somebody that's in the store. But this is definitely a planned event. They know what they're doing. They know the timing. Because they went straight to her. They didn't look around at nothing. They went straight to her door. They knew that she had that money. So this is this is crazy. That this, this story is definitely a crazy story. And I know we'll probably hear more about it. But I'm interested to find out 
um, who was all involved with this. And I know it's not just the two drivers of the, um, the lift car. Um, I know it was a whole, a more than them involved with this. So, guys, listen, as crazy as the world can be out there, keep your light shining bright, stay safe, and do the right thing. And please follow and share and like and subscribe for the latest Philly Crime News. We out.